Harris County DA Kim Og initially not able to vote. Look at that. This is based on yet. This is yesterday's primary in Texas. Texas not only has a presidential primary, they have statewide things as well, including the DA seats, including representative. Ted Cruz did win, and also the judge that was endorsed by Ken Paxton won. That's good, as opposed to the Bush, the Bush judge. Anyways, uh, DA Kim Og showed up to vote in Super Tuesday's primary, in which she is a candidate, only to be told she had already cast a ballot. Oh. Oh, that's a bad one. Og's partner allegedly cast a ballot in her name during early voting. Okay, so that's what happened. So it's it's, it's, it's her fault then. <laughs> Anyways, Harris County Clerk Tanisha uh, Hudspeth issued a statement on Twitter, formerly known as oh, Twitter, po pointing out that voters are asked to review and confirm the information on the iPad screen when they are being qualified. In this instance, the DA's partner must not have noticed that the information was not hers and proceeded to sign in and vote under DA Og's name. Huspeth says in a statement, <clears throat> in quotes, clerical errors can cause, clerical errors can occur at the polls. It is the voter's responsibility to verify that their information on the iPad screen is correct. Yeah, well, I mean, when your last name matches and your address matches, you don't think too much about it, right? Hudspeth said Og's partner signed her own name as confirmation. The clerk's office was able to rectify the error and said Og had been able to vote since 8.24 a.m. The poll book was corrected so that Og could cast a ballot. Well, that's a really interesting little error, right? So if this is the case, couldn't the Democrats who are going to be pl planning to vote early show up the morning of, sign in as somebody else, vote on their behalf, and then it's like, hey, what the heck? I didn't vote. Right, massive number of of uh, Republicans uh, had their ballots cast for them by Democrats. Not possible. Ooh, every Democrat to sign a Republican to screw over. Absolutely possible. Ooh, the migrants can help too, right? The explanation that they had the same address and the partner failed to validate their name implies catastrophic failures at the poll worker of the poll worker checking her partner in as well as her partner for not catching it on the verification. But most importantly, the e poll book itself, especially considering the content active e poll books Harris County uses, scans your driver's license when a voter checks, checks in. Oh, look at that. So they scan his, his driver's license, they pull out the wrong one, and then they still like, they still went forward with it. Holy crap. <clears throat> Further, the statement that the vote that DA Ogg's partner cast has been transferred to her own name would raise some serious questions about the capabilities of the machines and who has that type of access. Now, if you were a crooked insider within a county, within the state, and you had access to everyone's information from their address to their social, to the driver's license number, to their, um, their photograph, could you not download all that, send it off to China, they print out a bunch of fake IDs, send it over here, give it to migrants, and then they have IDs now? They could vote on your behalf, right? IDs with their face on it, not the actual person. Remember in 2020, we there was a there was a box of uh, IDs coming in from China that they found. Remember that? <clears throat> yeah, it wasn't just ballots that came in; it was IDs. If an election if an election judge or poll manager was able to simply transfer the assignment of a vote, this would imply that the vote was assigned to someone's name or a re design a designating feature yeah it's like adjudicating remember that but harris county retracted that statement and issued a correction which is even more concerning clarification the poll book has been corrected to make it possible for da Og to vote wow <clears throat> i wonder how many people they won't be doing that for right because they're not da's According to Chris Daniel on Twitter, a former Harris County District Clerk, he says, I can tell you the existing system requires a three-step verification. Dif very difficult to create this error accidentally. 